In this question, we're given two companies, Fabric Fun and Sewalot, that sell fabric online. And we're also given their corresponding cost equations, which represent the total cost in dollars of selling n meters of fabric. And what we have to do is compare these two companies in terms of the initial value, the rate of change, the type of variation represented, and then we have to justify our answer. Let's start by taking a look at these equations. Well, right away we know that they are both linear equations. And we know that because they have a rate of change and an initial value. Now, for so a lot, there is no initial value shown here, so what we do is we stick in a zero. The initial value there would be zero. If we were to graph these equations, let's put it over here, along the axis for the cost and the n representing the meters of fabric, uh, we would see from the first equation here that the initial value is 3. So let me put in a 3 here. And again, the initial value for the second equation is 0, so let me also put in a 0 right there. So given this equation here, we know that for fabric fund, the fixed cost is $3, or initial value, and then it increases by $4.25 per meter. So we can write that as starting at $3 fixed cost and going up at $4.25 per meter. And indeed, it is linear. Now, for so a lot, we start at zero cost or fixed cost, but it goes up at $6.50 per meter. So we'd start at zero, and the slope in this case is a little bit steeper, so it goes up at $6.50 per meter. So so a lot is the green line, and fabric fun is the yellow line. Okay, let's now go ahead and fill in our chart. So for fabric fun, we have an initial value of 3 and a rate of change of $4.25. So we can write it here. Initial value 3, rate of change is $4.25 per meter. And then for so a lot, initial value would be 0 and the rate of change would be $6.50 per meter. Initial value 0, rate of change $6.50. Per meter. So the type of variation in for fabric fund would be partial variation and the reason being that it doesn't go through the origin or the point zero zero it starts with a fixed cost or initial cost of three. So we circle partial variation and the justification is that it has a fixed cost In other words, it has a y-intercept other than zero. And you can also say that the cost line doesn't go through the origin, which is the point zero zero. In contrast, the so a lot cost line would represent direct variation. And the reason being that the initial value here is zero, or the fixed cost is zero, or that the cost line goes through the origin. So we can write that here, cost line goes through the origin. And there you go.